Hello everybody, this is Mr. Dean here doing some city painting. Y'all can like, comment, and subscribe. That'll help me out a whole lot here. Now let's talk about map building. Alright, well, we're going to take a look at my desktop because I'm going to go back and forth between the game and a tool called, well, heightmap.skydark.pl. That's heightmap.skydark.pl. Except no substitute. Now, there was a program called terrain.party and that worked for a while, but it got broke. But heightmap.skydark.pl works. Okay, this is the default map. It's flat. You want to have realistic looking mountains. Well, I could show you how to draw them in line by line, bit by bit with the terrain tools, but uh, you know what? They're always going to be lacking somewhat because if you want realism, why not go to the most realistic place of all? Earth. There we are. We're at heightmap.skydark.pl and I'll zoom in on a location. Ooh, wow. Hey, there's Fort Worth, Texas. Ah, I got too close. Zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. Okay. The map is about yay big. And if you look it over, it's about 18 kilometers on a side. And that, and that's exact game scale. So this shows an area that is, well, here's the playable 25 possible tiles that are playable and here are the 81 possible tiles that are on the map itself all right well that, that, that's that's nice let's take a look at what all these buttons on the side will do all right let's start with the information button this tells me information it says right here in this area I've got a minimum height of 137 meters and a maximum height of 226 all right this is important because the game gives you 1,024 meters of height difference. And if the min height and max height are more than 1,024, you will need to change the height scale to account for that. Conversely, if you want the min height and max height to be exaggerated, uh, I've only got about 100 meters here. If I want to make it 1,000 meters, I could make the height scale 10 times what it is. And boy, I'll come up with some mountains. The problem with that is it will come out jagged looking. You will have to smooth that map out. I like to leave my height scale at 100% or less. The maps get smooth that way. Now it says base level is 0 meters so that means if the min height is 137 and the base level is 0 then when I export the map and put it into the game I'll start off at 137 meters for the minimum height and it'll go up from there. I can change the map size. I can't really make it much smaller, but I can make it much bigger. I don't recommend that. I like leaving it at a one-to-one -one scale. I like that. Okay, so that's Fort Worth, Texas, but honestly, I want a place that's a little more exciting, uh, that's going to give me a little more height difference, and that would be Colorado Springs. Now, this has got some dramatic height difference because... You've got some very flat plains, well, the Great Plains, they're called, right up next to the Rocky Mountains. The Rocky Mountains just jump out of nowhere. All right, and I want to have my map actually go right around here for the center square. There we are. I can grab outside of that area and bring it into view. And I hit refresh, and that'll get me my min and max height now. Okay, 1756 and 3331. If I export now, and what I use to export is this download PNG height map. If I download this PNG height map right now, I will get something that looks like this. Why? Well, the min height is 1756, the base level is zero. That is more than 1024 than the base level. Yeah, it ain't gonna happen. So I gotta set my base level higher. Okay, well let's set it 1750. There. Now the lowest height on the map will be six meters above the base of the map. And the highest will be, well, 3331 minus 1756. Wait, isn't that more than 10,024? Yes it is. And I get this height map, which is beautiful and gorgeous in this area, flattens out here where that white stuff is. Well, what if I instead account for that by making the height level scale 50%? Now when I export that map, I get this. Oh, 
now there's differences all around. Let's take a look in the game and see what we can see there. All right. Well, if I import Colorado Springs low, well, flat, never mind. Okay, import Spr uh, Colorado Springs 1750. Jump out. Wow. Dramatic mountain rises. Ooh, ah. Clever. Wait, oh. There's where it blanked out. I've got choices. One, leave it that way and make people look at it like, wow, that's a heck of a mesa. Or two, dig into it with those tools that we have over here, the right raising, lowering, and all that business. And by digging into the tools, I'll create something in more interesting than flat. It's outside of the billable area, so I'm not worried too much. But wow, look at these differences. Staggering ridges. Ooh, rising massifs. It's amazing. What about the one where it was a little bit lower to the ground? Okay, now I see that I've got full definition all the way around. But remember how staggering the massifs were? Well, now they're more gentle. I may want that. I may not want that. If I want that, well, it's because I don't want to have, you know, hugely mountainous map. I want to have nice, you know, rolling hills sort of effect. So I, I, I got choices here, and, and I can play around with the settings at heightmap.skydark.pl. I can mess with the height scale, or I could choose a totally different area. I don't have to stay in Colorado Springs. One area that I know of that's really pretty is over here in Utah. A little place called Provo. Okay. And uh, right around here is good. And when I check this, hit refresh. Do, 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 do. Okay, min height, 1366. So I'd have to make this base level about 1360. Oh. And that's about 2000 more. So yeah, leaving height scale at 50%, I'm going to be just fine on my export and, and I did do the export and it looked something like this Ooh, interesting well, what is that I'm glad you asked let's import that height map and oh look at there beautiful mountains they're still gorgeous looking even though I reduced their height total by 50 percent that is some set of mountains I could put a river in here oh that'd be great in fact, I did do that in one map I made, and I dug out some water over here, just made that a nice bay, and this became a seaside rather than desert side town. And you're going like, wait, you can do that? Yeah, you can do that, man. If I just dig out here, and you can already see that this is a lower area. Well, if I dig it out and flood it out, I've got, you know, seaside. <laughs> It's that easy. I'll show you another one that I got earlier. Uh, let's take a look at the city of Oslo in Norway. Import that height map. Ooh, ah. Yeah, that's... Wow. And then you can see that really flat area. That's where water goes. So dig a little deeper. Dig a little deeper in there, and you'll have some great stuff. Now, some cautions. Oops. All right. You go outside the USA, I can't guarantee the quality of the map. What do I mean there? Well, let's take a look at Nanjing here. Oh, that looks great. Oh, wait, no, it's all wobbly. Yeah, if I'm going to put in big buildings here, I'm going to do a lot of flattening before I lay them down. In fact, I may just want to flatten out this buildable area to begin with and maybe go around some of the higher features and go around where the rivers are, but definitely flatten out this building area because it's just... Uh, too wobbly but it's got some nice water here and look what we could put inside this area these little islands have become ooh, it's exciting and here's a big river I can deal with yay that would be great I like this Nanjing's a cool town I've been there before too or let's look at another really cool map ah, one of my favorites in fact is Interlaken Switzerland look at that one and yeah, there's a lake on this side and a lake on that side. That's why it's called interlockings between the lakes. Again, a little bit of flattening in this area will make it nice. And I could choose to either have it be a, a large water area in between two massive hills or, I don't know, do something with it. But it's a gorgeous, gorgeous area. 
All right. But, well, yeah, I did make that warning about places that don't quite work. Well, like the Netherlands. Okay, it's not their fault that they're barely above sea level. <laughs> if you're looking for rolling hills, don't necessarily go to the Netherlands. Um, oh, Zagreb is beautiful. Okay, I'll show you Zagreb. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. But again, I'm going to need to run some smoothing tools over that build area. Okay, but wonderful mountain over there. And you can play around. I, I, I've gotten... I've, Every time I go to Zagreb, I do a different centering, and I find a different way to build on there. It's, I've had five different maps from it. <laughs> um, oh, here's the one. This uh, Kronotskaya. It's out in Kamchatka, and it was a lonely mountain. And I thought, oh, this is going to be beautiful. And, ah, no! No, 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 no! Jaggies everywhere! That's not what I wanted. And, yeah, when I did a... Uh, adjusted height map here for some other areas like in Texas I thought oh I want to have better hills oh no when I exaggerate the height difference I get these steps here and I got to go back with the smoothing tool to make it work so buyer beware and yeah that is inside the USA you got to be careful there too but if you get one that has a hundred percent or less like I did with Genoa here hundred percent or less on the height difference you can get some really beautiful areas that allow you to really have fun. Yeah, we're out in the Mediterranean now. Oh, wow, look at those hills. That's just gorgeous stuff. I'll be rambling if I keep talking. So let me shut up here. You like, comment, and subscribe, and go get yourself some height maps at heightmap.skydark.pl. Oh, well, okay, I, I could show you one quick thing here. Where, where do you import them into? <laughs> uh, where's that directory gone? Oh, here it is. You put it into your user directory, app data, local, colossal order, city skylines, add-ons, map editor, height maps. That's app data, local, colossal order, city skylines, add-ons, map editor, height maps. You download it from heightmap.skydark.pl directly in there as a PNG, because there it is. Download PNG height map and boom, zing, there you go that'll do you all right now i'm done now i can end my video like comment and subscribe i'm mr dean yada 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 we'll see you